Well, to be honest with you, it's worrying that people who dealt with security issues can't take responsibility for their, for their emails. I mean, these people in their past profession, such as Mrs. Livni, were entrusted with the state's most uh, valuable secrets, yet they seem to, to fail in terms of taking uh, precautions uh, to secure their, their email accounts, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, passwords or two-factor authentication. This is something that's worrying. This what this is this worries me much more than the Iranians trying. Well, of course the Iranians are going to try. We are there's a, there's been a shadow war going on between Iran and Israel since 1982 since Iran uh, started the, as, uh, helped the creation of Hezbollah. What worries me is that these people are not taking the threat posed by such uh, such uh, such issues such as people taking over your emails seriously. And I think this should be a warning to all, not just pre not just present, of course, but former Israeli officials to take matters into their hand, to get strong passwords, two-factor authentication, and to, yes, to, to get good email accounts. Well, besides being damaging, as you are saying, it's also humiliating for Israel, which regards itself as an expert in cybersecurity. What kind of response do you think is likely to this apparent attack? Well, I don't. I don't think Israel is going to be taking, this, you know, revenge just for these attacks. But look, there's there's something going on. Um, in terms of uh, cyber warfare, we see the two sides have been attacking each other. Recently, we saw on the 4th of June uh, that there were severe disruptions in Iran's in uh, major airport, Tehran's major airport, and that was uh, related. That was some people associated with Israel, although it's not clear yet. Maybe it was the opposition. This is the kind of thing that we all have to be uh, have to be uh, careful about. Me, you, and and everybody, especially in Israel, that we have to take cybersecurity very seriously in terms of how we message each other. Um, you know, if if you get a suspicious message from someone, for God's sake, call or or, or WhatsApp them to say I got a link from you. Is this from you? Be very careful, and and we have to act on the defensive. We are walking on in a landmine here, uh, in terms of the different uh, threats that pose us in inside in the cyber sphere. So we have to be very careful, very vigilant, and very intelligent about how we act. As you say, it not only affects high-profile people, but also the whole country, and everyone has to be vigilant. But give us. The bigger picture right now, Mayor, Israel is being blamed for the assassination of a Revolutionary Guards member. There are more mysterious accidents and deaths happening too in Iran, as we heard in that report not so long ago. Not to mention these plots by Iranian proxies in Turkey, apparently targeting tourists. It feels like this tension is coming in on many different fronts, not only cyber, but on the ground as well, and not only inside Israel, but with neighbors too. Of course, of course, and we have to be careful. But uh, Vanita, I cannot begin to describe how stupid and irresponsible my countrymen are. Who those who I'm referring to are those who are going to Turkey despite vehement and very loud government warnings. Do not go to Istanbul. Yet these people are ignoring these warnings. They are playing with their lives. They are playing with the lives of their children and their relatives. This is extreme irresponsibility on the behalf of my compatriots who are still going to Turkey. Again, this is what worries me of the Iranian regime retaliating or taking, look, we, we were victims of Iranian regime terrorism before, for example, in, in Buenos Aires. Did anyone, did we have the opportunity to warn Israelis or Jews not to go to the AMIA building in, 19, in 1994? No, we didn't know. But today we have that opportunity. The government is still is issuing those warnings and there's Israelis who are still stupid enough who insist on going to Turkey and endangering themselves and their families. This is a, their stupidity is a national threat.